morning. Um, bit of a different one today. Um, I've washed the trailer. I don't think I've ever hand washed my trailer before, but we've got some Land Rover royalty today. Um, got a couple to pick up, so come with us. I don't actually remember the last time the trailer looked this clean, so I thought I'd better show you. Look, it's orange again, and the wheels are silver, not black and black and black and brown. Anyway, right, on the road. Right, so the disco and the series that you saw. The series is just my friends, it's relocating to another storage place, so nothing exciting about that one, but I thought I'd show you what I got up to. Um, this um, wasn't too good to be true. It wasn't sold as driving. It was sold as running, which it is, but it didn't mention anything about driving, and it doesn't. Um, the clutch, clutch pedal is as floppy as a floppy thing. Um, selects the gears, selects reverse, fine, but doesn't drive. So either the hydraulics are knackered, um, or the transfer box knackered, but with a floppy clutch pedal, it's gonna be the gearbox or the hydraulics. Um, start it in gear, doesn't go anywhere. Um, goes into low, high, diff lock, lights come on, etc. So, yeah. I've got a guy who wants the wheels. I need a 200 TDI engine. Um, so I think it's going to get taken apart. It is on eBay complete, but I'm hoping, to be honest, it doesn't sell, because I say, I need some bits, so.
Right, well, we've got her in the workshop. Um, apparently this is a ruse. Um, the BTCC model was white or blue, not gray, and it had black wheels. So someone's just got happy with the stickers. But anyway, a non-runner purchased cheap. Um, my highest bid was 10% of what they had the reserve at. Anyway, they gave it to me for the price I bid. So I got it fairly cheap. Obviously it's not without its issues. Again, it's a non-runner. We've got a big dent there, one there, and the wheels have all got marks on, I think, where they've obviously had ratchet straps on them at some point. But if you remember, I had the black MG6 from my brother-in-law. His had the same problem, that was a non-runner. And I got round that, so I'm hoping this is the same. So, I'm gonna give it a go. I'll show you the response and see what happens. Now, today is Friday. Um, Friday the 18th, also known as um, Storm Eunice Day. So, winds are getting up. It's due to really hit here in about an hour. So I don't know if I'm going to have a roof left. I don't know what the situation is going to be. So uh, I don't. I won't suppose I'm overly safe in here, but I need to know if any damage occurs so we can rectify it. Because obviously once the storm passes this evening, there's going to be lots of rain. I don't fancy getting stuff drenched if the roof comes off. So anyway, I'll make a start on here until something happens. And I'll come back to you if and when it's running. Right, so that's failed for now. Um, the fuel light is flashing. There's zero in the tank apparently. So I'm hoping they haven't drilled the tank or anything, but I've had a look underneath and I can't see any holes or any obvious signs of it dripping. So you'd like to think if it was punctured, there'd still be some that would drip out, but yeah. So the battery's on charge. Um, also that first time I didn't have the clutch pedal engaged because i forgot you have to have the clutch pedal down so just in case i've wedged that so i will hope for um the battery's charge i would go and get some fuel but uh with obviously the impending storm as i've said i'll probably what be wise to bring it up another day so i'll let the battery charge today and i'll come back to this shortly and show you how i get on so it's the morning after the night before. Storm Eunice has left us, but not without its mark. So, I have a hole in my roof. I wouldn't have had a hole in my roof. The only reason I now have a hole in my roof is because I have no roof out here. This roof took off. Landed on that roof and punched a hole in and has fell down the back. So as we've got lots of rain due, my first priority is to sort this roof out. So that's what we're going to do this morning. This I'm not too worried about at the moment because obviously it's just crap out here anyway and it wasn't weather tight. But the cross beam that was on there... was another telegraph pole and it's literally ripped out the wall and has damaged this whole wall so this whole wall's got to come down and be rebuilt <coughs> so yeah there was a telegraph pole through there resting on there and it's ripped the whole lot out so this wall is kind of knackered <sighs> But priority, priority is to get up there and fix that today.
there we go sorted a bit of petrol um, charge the battery up manually start it on the starter and she's a runner so now we can fit a start button bypass the key switch um, you'll still need the key in the uh, in the slot but you won't need it to actually start you can press a separate button because the back of the key switch fails and they're a pain to get hold of so it's easier just to put another switch in and solve the issue so yeah that's the result right well a little update the r56 the red r56 that's gone uh, stuck that on facebook as it was um, someone come and got it drove it away no problem this now so I put the, the temporary switch in, uh, overrided the star motor, um, or the ignition switch. Um, fires up, no problem at all. Idles, not a problem. Problem comes when you put it into gear. It doesn't drive. The, the gear selector feels fine, but there is no clutch action. Um, if you put the foot on the clutch, it feels fine, but there's you can put the car in gear while it's running, there's just no drive there at all. So it's either going to be a completely blown apart clutch, which possible, um, but I would at least think you'd hear a noise or at least some kind of, um, some kind of resistance, you know, you'd feel, you might feel something, but there's nothing. It's just, yeah, you can just put this in all the gears, no issue at all. Um, so it's either, let's say the clutch, the gearbox is blown, a shaft to snap, but I can't see anything hanging down. Obviously, I've not been able to get it on the ramp yet. So, I think this one's going to get stripped. Um, it's got a good turbo engine in it, 60,000 miles. Um, as I say, every, all the fluids are clean, starts on the button. So, I reckon it will get stripped. But, for the time being, I'm going to put this in the shed. Because I need to get a couple of bits done first. Um and yeah so i thought i'd got over the starting problem thought it was going to be fine but clearly not never mind these things are set to try us as i said before didn't pay a lot of money for it so it's not a problem at all so i'll leave this one here um thanks for watching like subscribe and share leave us a comment i know there's been a bit of a gap since the last one but i've been moving house um so yeah finally back in here two weeks after the storm um, and able to get cracking again so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you soon in the next one cheers guys